Yo, it's your boy Notes. Right now we're locked in with Mixtape Madness Rooted. But out here, man. Man, the house will be done. Going up like the World Cup. Ain't been held much. Did it all with my own team. No one helped us from the mud. Had to get up, not no mug. When I'm fed up. Right now we're in Rowley Gardens. This was actually the block that man lived in from when man was like a, a little kid. Obviously it was like way worse than this until they gentrified it. This whole area was where I lived in from before. Yeah, they've gentrified the place. Not that part yet, but they're due to. And then they moved us back here after they moved us to the front line to another shitty flat. You know, I'm, I we're grateful for having this one now, so. Listen up, my boy, no sauce. He got so angry with me, chased me, like twisted him up, right? The Ronaldo took. Then he was like, nah, fuck that. Come after, man. And just done a mad tackle, bro. Oh, I dropped on the ground. Cool. Me and him stopped talking for time, but that's my boy. <laughs> if, you, if you've seen Addison Lee, you know no sauce is. Me and no sauce are like that. No sauce, boy. Exactly what you've just done as well. Drop your bag. We'll place that there, and then we'll place another item here. So we'll put something like this here. So we'll do the same with that side, and we'll do the same with that side. And that's four goals. And literally, you have to try and score against any, any goal yeah. to get people out. Yeah, man. I used to love playing four goals here. That's so much that like, so many footballs have gone over that I, I, I'll be real I don't I don't know what else has gone over that to be honest like some other things could have gone over that man, you know what I mean that like, hello Esther that's my little sister hey, you are you give me a hand? hello Esther hi how are you I'm fine thank you how are you sis I'm what about the handshake wait 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 start again what keeps me rooted be myself man just stay in me like there's people out there in the world that will always have less there's people out there in the world that will always have more they don't make you above anybody nor does it make you below anybody and i guess like my family and yeah, my loved ones like whether they be my boys or just good people that i have around me they could be girls my little brothers my little sister my mom especially being able to go back to nigeria having nigerian culture embedded in my life um yeah those are all the things that keep me real still This is the youth club, The Edge. They used to record here, make music here, early SoundCloud releases. I wouldn't even care about anybody or anyone that, or anything that was going on. I'd literally just be here by myself, just learning how to record by myself, learning how to try and produce. Um, I didn't really get anywhere with that. Being able to be in this one environment without having to be distracted by any of the other shit that's going on in, in the world, in life, or outside of my own block. So this was definitely a fundamental um, part of my journey. And if this place wasn't here, then like I probably would have got kicked out of school earlier. I made like a song called Yesterday, which was my first SoundCloud release in there. And then I made a song called Toji Me in there once again with somebody that was a part of NHG at a time that got somewhere. And it allowed me to do like parties and block parties. Big up the youth club staff, but they just used to open that door for me anytime that I wanted to come in here to use it. I say make Manor House stand up for the rest of London. You know what? They used to be like the maddest block parties here. Like the craziest block parties from Manor House to Stamford Hill. So right now we're in the borough of Hackney, but then if you cross the road, we're in, we're in Harringay. Or if you cross the road on the other side, we're in Islington. What influenced my musical taste? Probably my mum, you know. She used to have like a, a lot of like CDs and a lot of different people's music. Usher, 50 Cent, just everyone like Backstreet Boys. Tunes that I didn't think that I would care about that she would actually teach me and I'll learn the meanings of them. Even like, my biological father, he used to produce as well when I was younger. So that was his main hobby and stuff. What up, boy? I haven't seen you in years. How are you doing? A bit of surviving. Oh, no, man. When I saw your mom, you told me to I was like, yo, no. No, me. Where is no sauce? Hell's bells. What up, boy? What are you telling me? He was around earlier still. Hello, my brother. 
anything, anything the kids want. Put it on my bill. I'll pay for it right now, yeah. Anything the kids want. You want food? Yeah, grab something, innit? Uh, yeah, you lot grab something. Are you sure? Yeah, anything, anything. All right, shout out to my nigga MB, man. Nana Banga, rest in peace. This was his favorite drink, Tropical Vibes. What you said, man, G? You good? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm here. I've been good still. I've been blessed. Come on, man. It's been a while, isn't it? Mixtape madness rooted. They're trying to get where I'm from and understand what, what's going on. If I'm really from here or not. Oh, come on, my guy. Of course I am. Come on, my guy. Come on, man. Come on. It's a bit mad right now. Especially how hot the ends are sometimes. It's a bit mad. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Jeez. I ain't seen this nigga in years now. Are you telling me, family? Thank you, Grand Jesus. Good job. I've never seen you, man. Trust me, likewise, bro. Likewise. You still there, though. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, one side is gentrified, the other side is still, still a matter. What are you saying, Tosin? Come on, my brother. Good people have been raised in this. I can't ever knock that. And some legends have been raised in this. Damn, this is D Block. <laughs> Legend, bro. You know, if you know, if you know, if you know, if you know, come on. But this is a very legendary block still. A lot of people have, have done some legendary stuff on this block. A lot of legendary music videos have been on this block. Big up Dice as well, free Dice. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, is there a ball in there? This was never like this back in the day. At all. Am I capping in those <laughs> What, wasn't the floor concrete? Yeah. <laughs> Actually proper like fix this place up. I think this is my first time actually stepping on the Astro turf. Before it was actual concrete and I used to play four goals here as well. The same same concept as the one right outside my block. It was fun, it was lit. Can't lie, I want some Nigerian food. I can handle the heat to my single left. I'm into her, but I'm really on the internet. What vibes I don't get from them. She's either with me or with her friends. RIP Cadet. Underrated legend. I tied this one for him. In another kind of mood. Just like my eyes cool. Not the same kid from school. Can't take my for fool. I spot the lies that lie on the skin of the tooth. They don't live the truth. I just don't see why. I'm rooted, rooted. Like some interview on the block. Um, I'm eating panda jam with a goosey and turkey. I love a goosey. That's one of my favorite stews for like, da da da, you get me? I was 19 when Aladdin, when Aladdin dropped. 18 when um, Addison Lee came out. And I didn't sign Addison Lee until like six months after. All of the groundwork for it actually became a popular situation. It was kind of just done with me and the guys doing natural things like me just standing on top of a random Addison Lee that's parked on the block. And that was literally how it all kicked off. So when it got signed, it was nice, but we done it for ourselves in a way. I've got an Afro tape that's coming out very soon. Very, very soon. Got some nice features on there. And just a nice amount of um, collaborations in sense of like even between the producers. And then right after that, I've got a mad mixtape, a mixtape full of madness. But outside of me making music, I love helping people make music. Or I love helping people get to somewhere with their music. Being able to change people's families and their lives. And cause I've seen my life change and my family's life change within it. Yeah, outside of music, that's one of my interests, just building and developing up and coming and unsigned artists until they are signed or until they are known to you guys and everybody else. Being able to change people's lives is like a big thing for me. I've got like water wells and boreholes in Nigeria that I've been building and that's my own charity slash foundation that I've been doing. I, I want to keep doing that and build 500. Right now I've got five, I want 500. I want to keep impacting people's lives. That's that's my main thing. Even if I made you smile today, that's that makes me happy, you know what I mean? Give up mixtape madness. 
We got mixtape madness. That's the that's the team still. We got mixtape madness. Prime time. Prime time.